Man, I'll never have any diamonds. I work too much. I go to school. I'll never have the time. Wait. What? What? You can get diamonds through Conquest? I've been playing Conquest. Starting pitchers. Wait, wait. Sorry. You mean I won't have to use Alex Alex Blowjob anymore? Or Jeff Shablaba Ding Dong? You're telling me that I have diamonds waiting for me? No. No. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. I'm just messing with you guys. I've been playing Conquest. I've been grinding the past couple days. I haven't had to work and I took a day off of school just so I could get these cards because I've been saying to myself, I don't have a single diamond, so it's time. It's time we add some bling to our squad. We unlocked Jim Catfish Hunter and we unlocked the postseason version 2009 CC Sabathia. Let's see some highlights, shall we? This is an unbelievable feeling, you know, to be able to come here my first year and, and win it all. I mean, I don't know what to say. Man, they were both so dominant. I'm so glad we added them to the squad. We are gonna be dominant now. Alex Blowjob, it's been nice knowing you, buddy. See ya. Now, if you guys were wondering how I got these cards so quick, because I really only got them about, I started Conquest, the missions about a day ago, and I unlocked both in the span of a couple hours. So what I did, I wanna give you guys a couple tips because I know some of you aren't into Conquest, but once you are, what I recommend is complete the map and then conquer the strongholds last because it's a lot quicker that way. But in terms of the missions with CC Sabathia and Jim Catfish Hunter, here's what I did. So the first thing that you want to do is where it says my squad and collect, we're going to go to collect and we're going to go to missions. We're going to come all the way over here to where it says conquest because this is where the missions of CC Sabathia and Catfish Hunter lie. And we're going to click okay, okay. But do you see right here where it says completed? Tally eight wins with breakout series starting pitchers. The way that I did this, it was actually really simple. I went into Conquest because there's only three inning games. And anytime I was not given a breakout pitcher, I just quit. It's not affecting your ranked play or your record, anything like that. Just quit and restart. If you have a blank map, here's what I do. I never like to play on any mode other than veteran. Just because sometimes I have bad luck with these CPU games and I just... I don't get it sometimes. So what I like to do is I like to kind of just beeline my way to a stronghold that only has one inside of it. So I click on this guy, I click on the one, that way it's gonna give me a veteran mode. That way I'm not gonna be struggling to win. Now I know a lot of people might say, oh, all star is really easy too, but sometimes it gets it gets into the extra innings and that it's just not fun that way. So veteran's gonna give you a nice three inning game and you're gonna rack up those eight wins pretty quick. So in terms of getting breakout pitchers, what you wanna do is you wanna make your way over to the community market MLB cards, go ahead and click on a little square down here because we're all squares, you know? And we're gonna make our way all the way down to where it says series and we're gonna find where it says breakout. Now this is where every single breakout player that you can buy is found. So what I did is I went ahead and I bought Brett Cecil and I bought Scott Feldman. I would buy Brett Cecil, put him in my squad, and if he is chosen randomly for that Conquest game, perfect. But if he's not, or if Scott Feldman is chosen, perfect. But if either of them two pitchers are not chosen, I am quitting the game and I am restarting to hopefully get that pitcher selected. I'll be honest with you guys, that was a little bit annoying. Uh, most people say, oh, I just randomly selected it and if it wasn't the right pitcher, I just played the game. I'm not about that, I have time. I have very limited time as you can see. 69 o'clock, yeah, see, I don't have any time to screw around. So that would be my best approach in terms of getting Catfish Hunter. Now let me show you what I did for CC Sabathia. 91 postseason CC Sabathia, easy diamond. All you have to do is tally 60 strikeouts with left-handed pitchers, which is actually not too bad considering the method that I used. Now the easiest way, you can get 15, 20 strikeouts using this method every single game. So you can get CC in about, I would say an hour, two hours tops and just do exactly what I do. What I did is I went to the market again. So the market is gonna be your best friend. Use a little square, because again, we're all squares. So with CC, what I did is I went over here and I thought which left-handed pitchers that I can get for cheap have the best K per nine inning. So what I found was Steven Matz with a 71 K per nine and a 92 velocity. Him against a rookie CPU Padres team, I had 21 strikeouts. I was a third of the way there and it only took seven innings. I struck out every single hitter for seven innings. By Steve Matz like I have, you would make your way back to where it says home, play, come over here to head to head, come over here to single player and play versus CPU, 
and all you're gonna do is the simplest of things. You're going to scroll up to where it says Padres, make sure you're on rookie, and just dominate because they only have a 52 contact. Really easy. I'm extremely low on time, so I thought, what is the fastest way to do all of this? And that's how I did it. So again, the main objective for Catfish Hunter is buy those breakout players, and if you ever have a game where they're not pitching in Conquest, just exit and redo it. In regards to CC, again, just buy every low-end pitcher that you can buy that throws left-handed. Make sure that they're a starting pitch and face the Padres on rookie difficulty, and you'll be there within, I would say, tops two hours. And that's pretty much going to do it for today, guys. I did also add Anthony Rendon to our team, and we upgraded Fuzzy Balls. Um, and as you guys saw in the last video, we pulled DJ LeMahieu. So our roster is starting to come around. If you see in right field, I have Aaron Hicks, and he's actually really, really good. I'm not sure if you guys have ever come across this card or if you thought maybe he just sucks against right-handed pitchers, so I'm not going to play him. But if you can platoon him with any player that's in your squad, anyone that plays center, left, right, any outfield position, check out this guy's stats. 87 contact, 71 power. 82, 86 arm strength with 75. This guy is absolutely legit against left-handed pitchers. Now, when he's not playing, I'm still working on the Ken Griffey Jr. programs. So if there's a right-handed pitcher, I'll just throw Griffey in there and he rakes as well. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Those are the two quickest ways that I found to actually pull diamond players other than the, you know, the starter missions and stuff like that. I mean, I maybe spent about, I would say, no more than 1,500 stubs on collecting all the players necessary to complete these missions. So that's nothing. So again, I know this wasn't the silliest of videos, but I want you guys to actually learn something because I am really, I do like this game and I hope you guys do enjoy it as well because the servers are actually working very well. So it's a little bit more fun, a little bit more tolerable. So I want you guys to get the best players that you can in the shortest amount of time. So with that being said, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I don't know why I'm clapping. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like. If you guys really enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a subscribe because we're so close to 800 subs. We're making our way to 1,000. So thank you so much for everything that you guys do for me. I'm not doing this for money, anything like that. I haven't made a single penny. I just want to upload videos and inform you guys and be funny at the same time. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Catch I don't know what I'm doing. Peace.